Hey everyone, welcome to our quick demo of Stream's advanced moderation feature for in-app chat. My name is Mike, and I'm here with Nico Lewis, the technical product manager behind this release. I'm just going to give a super quick overview of advanced moderation capabilities and use cases, and then pass the mic to Nico to show you how it works. So in a nutshell, advanced moderation uses a powerful machine learning model to automatically detect illicit messages as soon as they're sent, and take action to either block them or flag them for human review, depending on the severity of the offense. This is especially useful when you have a high volume of users active concurrently, when so many messages are being sent that it would be hard for a team of human moderators to keep up on their own. We see this often in virtual events use cases, when thousands or even millions of users join a single chat channel that accompanies a multimedia stream of a concert, a keynote address, a press conference, or a similar live event. Outside of virtual events, advanced moderation can help increase the speed and accuracy of human moderation for any app that sees high chat volume and needs to uphold a set of community standards, from virtual classrooms to social communities and beyond. Now, your implementation of stream chat may look different, but for the purposes of our demo, we have a sample application that looks like this already built using the stream chat API and SDKs, and we have advanced moderation already turned on. We're going to start by looking at the feature from the stream dashboard and then see it in action from an end user's perspective. And now, here's Nico with the demo. Hey Mike, um, so to check out the feature, you want to select an app, make sure of course that it's enabled first, and then go to overview, and then click on a specific channel type. If you scroll down, once this feature is enabled, you'll have the AI moderation section that shows here. Now, a little background on how AI moderation works. Um, we have basically trained a model by sending it thousands and thousands of um, data sets all about text that's basically typed on the internet. Um, and the model is basically trained to classify text along three categories, spam, explicit, or toxic. Um, and what the model does is when a user will type in a message, it reads the message and based on its previous history of, of learning that it's, it's gone through, it will basically come to a decision on how confident it feels that that message belongs to one of those three categories. So let's just take an example, uh, a user typing in a message that says, check out my bio to buy things. Um, the model will basically read this message and go, okay, to what extent do I feel that this is spam content? Am I 100% sure or am I 50% sure or am I 20% sure? And what it's going to do is actually going to assign uh, a value from naught to one, one being that it's 100% sure and zero being that it's um, actually sh exactly sure that it's, it's not spam. Um, the easiest way to just try this out is there's a test message feature here. So if you click this test message feature, um, we can actually try this out. So we could do check out my bio to buy things. Uh, this seems pretty spammy. Let's see what the model classifies it as. So this actually got a spam of one. This means the model basically felt it was 100% sure that a message like this was uh, spammy. Uh, it also got a very low explicit score here. So you can see the model's very confident this is not explicit in any way. Um, and also very confident that this is not toxic in any way. Um, from this page, you can set up your intervals. So in this case, what you can see is I've set up this model to say, okay, if you are between 60 and 90% sure that the um, message is spam, go ahead and flag it for me. If you're above 90%, then actually go ahead and block it. I've done the same for all of these categories below as well. So for something that's explicit or toxic, if it's between 60 and 90% uh, sure that it's it, it falls in this category, it's gonna flag the message. Um, and if it's higher than this, it's going to block it. If it's actually lower than a 0.6, you can actually see it's going to take no action uh, in that case. So let's try this out. Um, I'm going to start up my um, development server on this app, which is my From Scratch Chat um, app. So that's going to load to the page here, um, and I'm using a um, user called Lorenzo. So let's say, hey there, I am Lorenzo. This is just a very uh, normal message. We can see that that has been, nothing's happened there. How are you? Nothing's happened there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely send a message that I know, um, you know, is, uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get flagged by the model. Um, and I'm going to say, you are such a weirdo. This is the message um, I'm going to do. And this is like, relatively benign and depending on, on the case. Um, but 
we're gonna see what happens here. So you are such a weirdo, that actually went through. But if we go into the moderation dashboard now, what you'll see is this you are such a weirdo has actually been flagged by Automod. Um, and if we click on this, if we actually click on this uh, actual panel here, this will expand and it'll give us some information. So we can see that we had a flag threshold between 0.6 and 0.9, and this message actually scored a 0.66. So in this case, it's basically within that threshold. That's why it's actually got flagged. Um, if I want to, I could take some action, um, but I'm not in this example. Um, I'm actually gonna go back into my development server and I'm gonna write something that's actually going to purposely uh, block something just to show you what happens here. So I'm gonna write, you are a freak. Um, and what we can actually do before I'm gonna send this, I'll just show you um, within the test message example here, you are a freak, but this is going to score really highly. Um, it's 0.97, a 97% likely uh, that, that this toxic. And so because of my threshold, it's going to automatically block this. So if I jump back into um, this app and I click you are a freak and send this, what you'll see is that actually sends an error unsent and it says automod basically blocked your message, which means the AI moderation tool has done its job. It's actually stopped things um, from being sent. Now, if we go back to this message, you are such a weirdo, and we jump into the moderation dashboard, if I want to, I could actually mark this, um, I can select it here, and I can, from this delete, I can actually delete the message. Um, and what you'll notice is the message has now been deleted. Um, and if I then go back into here, this was where the message was, and it says the message was deleted. All right, thanks, Nico. Thanks everyone for watching. Now, if you have any questions at all about this new advanced moderation capability or about integrating in-app chat using stream components, please don't hesitate to fill out our contact form at getstream.io slash contact, and someone from our team will be in touch to talk through your specific use case and requirements. Advanced moderation is a premium feature now in general availability that can be added to your stream chat plan, and you can prototype your integration and test drive the stream chat API, SDKs, and UI kits completely free for 30 days. To activate your trial, visit getstream.io slash chat slash trial.